Oh, I, I love the Battlefield theme music. I will say, <clears throat> Battlefield's theme song might be my favorite across all games. Uh, Halo is up there for sure. But, hmm. Battlefield 1942, this is where we start. I personally didn't play this when it was out. I, uh... I do have a memory of this, though. This exact thing, parachuting in like this, seeing planes. Because a family friend of mine played Battlefield 1942 when I was over. And I remember, I mean, I must have been, I'll have been... Alright, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I, I, I'll have been 10 years old, maybe, at the time. 9, 10. And I remember being so jealous he was playing this on his computer. I was more of a console gamer. But to play online, you know, I, I didn't really do that. Uh, this was my introduction to Battlefield, though. Even though I didn't play it myself, I saw him play it. I thought... I, I thought we'd skip it, but then I... I thought, you know, someone in the comments is gonna say, Dude, you missed this and so, this and that. And we gotta start with the first one, you know? Uh, now, as you can tell, the gameplay is very outdated. But I will say, still, this game's almost 20 years old. Should we get a knife killer? It's amazing that this was what it was back then, anyway. And to have 64 players... <laughs> I don't know, I, I think that's- Whoa, this guy's alive! Okay. Um, I still- I think that's amazing. Honestly. 20 year old game right here. You can tell, it, it's a great start for the franchise. Whoa, this guy just got three guys with a grenade. Beautiful game. Beautiful start. Let's finish it off with a nice... This is a little awkward. One more shot! There we go. Now, what I'm most excited about in this video is seeing the evolution of the quality in their games. Going from this and going through... I'm very dead here. This is not meant to... Yeah, we can't even hit them. Um, maybe I just rush. I'm gonna rush. Throw a nade to get this guy a little scared. Whoop! Oh, I just died by a Spitfire. <laughs> I'm very excited to see the evolution of the games as we go on. From this one to the next one, you will notice sprinting. As far as I can tell, you can't sprint in this game. When I hold shift, I sneak. Holy shit. Died. Let's move on. Let's move on. Oh my god, this music! Oh, I feel like I'm 12 years old again. This was the first battlefield that I properly jumped into. Oh my god, this music! Uh, if you never played this, then this means nothing to you. But for me... Holy crap. Battlefield 2 was the first proper game that I played. I would play it at internet cafes. Holy shit, I forgot about how obnoxious this is. Let's spawn at the back here. Oh this is the first Battlefield game that I kind of got introduced to properly. At the time, I didn't have a PC to play on, because this was obviously just a PC game. Battlefield 2. So I would go to internet cafes and play this with friends. Sprint short distances by double oh, your this, forwards. this guy. I remember this guy. Can I turn him off? <laughs> I don't need you. I do night gibbs. I, I, is that a thing in other countries? Night gibbs? Maybe you call it something else. Oh, there's a guy up ahead here. Oh my god, my, my nostalgia meter is running hot. So you get, you know, you get to the internet cafe in the evening, and then you play until you pay... F oh, I killed one! Oh. And then you play until uh, the morning. You play until like 9 a.m. I used to do that with my brother a lot. This is the best internet cafe game. I'm about to die here. Let's just go around here. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so that guy's- <laughs> that guy's insane. <laughs> I love that people are still playing this. I 
can't believe people are still playing this. I love it. This is all I would play. Strike at Kakan, that's the map. Infantry only. This was one of the more popular servers to... You'd have a lot of these. Strike at Kakan, infantry only. There must be at least two guys in the comments who will say this was their shit as well. My nostalgia is running so high right now. Oh my god, I- did I just- did I just kill a friend? No, I don't think so. No, I did! Oh, I just- oh, he's revived. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh. Ho ho! Get the pistol out. I think he knows I'm here. Fuck. Jumped up. Jumped up. I got him! Hoo-hoo! Dude, like, this game is so, so well made. Uh, it's genuinely, it still plays so well. It, like, it's, it's still fun today. And when did it come out? Like, 2005 or something? Oof. The only thing that feels outdated is the running. There's no strafing while sprinting. It's, it's the same thing in Battlefield, uh, in Bad Company 2. That's a thing in this game. You can really move quickly by jumping. Oh, I got him. Uh-oh. Can I knife him? No! I remember being so amazed back then that you could have 64 players in a game like this, and it runs so well. This is a long time ago now that this came out. Now, of course... I mentioned that it once wasn't on console, which it wasn't, but it's worth mentioning, and I would have loved to play it for this video, but it's a bit difficult. Uh, there was a Battlefield 2 on console. It was called Modern Combat. Oh, I got him. Uh, it was called Modern Combat. Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. And it was on Xbox 360 and... PlayStation 3? It, I think it was even on PlayStation 2. When I got Xbox 360, that was my introduction to multiplayer on consoles. I played modern, I played Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. It was a lot of fun, it was well made, it was 12v12. And I thought it's worth mentioning, I, I can't really show it because the servers are down and everything, and it's on the Xbox 360. But it, it holds a fond memory. Oh, the recoil is so hard to learn. Okay, I got him. Hey, rank up. Good guy. It holds a close place in my heart. Let me know in the comments if anyone else played uh, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat on, on console. There are some really good maps in that that I would have loved to see remastered at some point, but I don't think they're ever going to give that attention. Uh, there's a map called Bridge Too Far. I remember playing the shit out of that. And, um... Holy shit, how did we ever get used to all of these spotted <laughs> voice lines? There was a desert map called Back Something. I'm sure someone in the, ch in the comments will, um, whoa, will help me remember. I meant to be keep playing the other Battlefield games, but <laughs> I could honestly just play this all day. To me, this is the perfect Battlefield infantry map. Whoa! I got knifed! I remember with this game, now maybe others have different memories, but I remember with this game that it's quite difficult to upgrade the next weapon of a class. Uh, to me, it was my first multiplayer game, as I said, on PC and stuff, so I wasn't very good, so I guess that made it harder. I'm capturing this, okay. Um, but I remember being really excited whenever I picked up someone else's kit and they had the next sniper or something like that. I remember it being quite hard. I feel like these days, that's something that I've lost in games, that excitement about unlocks. Because I feel like you know everything right away. When a game comes out, some YouTubers put up a video with everything unlocked. Um, and, and, and usually you could just unlock everything. If you play over a weekend, most of the exciting parts of a- OH! Most of the exciting parts of a game like that, like unlocking things, you've unlocked them all, like, in terms of weapons. Um, 
They've definitely, I feel like they've definitely made it easier over the years um, to unlock stuff in games. Let's nade this guy. Shit, he's nading me. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now, after Battlefield 2, for me, um... It wasn't until- I, I I didn't play 2142, the futuristic Battlefield, which came out, what, a year after Battlefield 2, 2006? So let's talk a little bit about Bad Company, because Bad Company 1 is often... Nobody ever talks about it, really. Everybody talks about Battlefield Bad Company 2, which is what I'm playing here. Bad Company 1, to me, when they announced it, and it, I believe it was on their new... That might have been the first game on the Frostbite engine. Bad Company was the first series where they introduced proper, destructible environment like this. And I remember being so goddamn impressed when they announced Battlefield Bad Company and they showed how it worked. This. This, exactly like that. The fact that the walls break down. This was impressive shit. And Bad Company came out in 2008. This is obviously Bad Company 2, which came out two years later, 2010. But it was similar in Bad Company 1, you know, this, this, the way, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was embarrassing. I remember being so impressed looking at gameplay of the Bad Company games uh, that I would bring my mom in. Did anyone else ever do that? I'd bring my mom in to show her and be like, holy shit. And I remember showing her this gameplay, gameplay clip of trees and saying, mom, this isn't real life. This isn't a video game. <laughs> and I was... I was, the only other, other game I ever did that with was Assassin's Creed. The first Assassin's Creed. I remember being really high up um, on uh, one of the towers or whatever, doing the eagle vision thing, and just showing and saying, look at this whole world. And I do that with Battlefield. I'd look up gameplay videos before it came out and bring my mom in to show her how insane the graphics are. I mean, looking at this now, <laughs> you know, it has... It's funny to me, because I it, it, back then I remember thinking, this is perfect. But now, you know, this this is not perfect, is it? It's not... Back then I was like, it can't get any better than this. This is insane. Anyway, Bad Company 2, incredible game. I played this. I played the shit out of this. And you know what? This is the first game where I properly got in. Well, Bad Company 1 was the first game I properly got into a campaign. Um, I, um... Whoa! Okay. I got all the achievements in Bad Company 1, finished the story, I just got kicked. Punkbuster! Lovely stuff, Punkbuster. This was the first Battlefield game that I created content for on my YouTube channel. Uh, my most memorable moments were definitely uh, launching people. Do you guys remember that? Anyone else remember that? Woo! You were able to launch people with, if you put a bunch of C4s under their cars. So if I, if I had three teammates in a car and then I throw a bunch of C4s under and mines and then blow it up, you could launch them across the map. Here we go. Here we go. Whee! Whee! I died. Parachute. We're, okay, jump out, jump out. Oh, oh yeah, jumped out really low. Here we go, they're here. Kill someone, kill someone. Oh, I killed one! <laughs> oh, here we go! Here we go! Uh oh, wrong way. Oh, here we go! I died. What the fuck? Yeah! Jump out! I oh, yes! I wanted to give this game a special shout out Battlefield Heroes. Shit. <laughs> Battlefield Heroes is closed now, but this is called Rising Hub. I believe it's just a server where they, they keep the game going, and it still has a few servers running with people playing. Um, this was a cartoon battlefield, as you can tell. I, w I wanted to give this a shout-out. You know, I don't have much to say about it, because I barely played it. I remember playing it a couple times. Um, I know Jack Frags... Oh my god, that music, however, is hitting me hard. <laughs> that's, that's nostalgic music. Um, I remember when they announced this, and that was the main theme song. Uh, Jack Frags, I think, uh, a couple years ago, made a video of this. It might have been last year or two years ago. Maybe I'll, I'll link that somewhere if you want to see more about why this game failed and whatnot. I remember him talking quite in-depth about it. 
Don't remember much of it. I will say it felt very ahead of its time. This game came out early. I reckon had they come out with this game a few years later, it could have been a different story. Uh, I don't think that the world was ready for Battlefield Heroes just yet. They did have some odd design choices in, in gameplay. I remember you could fly. I think it- do you have abilities in this game? You might even have abilities. I'm going for this guy. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. I played a lot of Battlefield 3. I played this on... Holy shit, the M60's crazy! I played this- I played, played a crazy amount of this on Xbox 360. Whoa, I am noticing how huge my gun is. You guys seen this? Ooh. The scope is just... When you run, it covers your screen. Is it meant to be like that? I don't remember it being that bad. Um... Oh god. I have a revolver?! Oh, I got him! Shit. This was the game that welcomed me to PC gaming at home. Um, I played it for a few months on Xbox 360, and then... swapped over to PC, and I never looked back. There's a lot of controversial decisions with the gameplay design of this one. I remember people hating the blue tint. I almost want to say that they've reduced it at some point because people were talking about it so much. Or did they come with... Was there mods that removed it a little bit? I can't quite remember now. Holy shit. The mother load. What do I need? It's just... There we go. Yeah. Playing so many different battlefields. Uh, this is obviously Conquest on... Of all, map and, uh, of all maps, it's, it's Operation Metro. But um, I used to play... I, I, I solely played Rush, honestly. After I fell in love with Rush in Bad Company, that's all I played in Battlefield 3. It's when the maps are thought through for Rush, when they're planned for Rush a little bit. That's when Rush works. And on Battlefield 3, I always felt that the maps... They worked. Rush worked on the maps. I barely played Conquest. I just played Rush. <clears throat> Maybe others feel differently. I know, uh, this game was so popular, I think a lot of my viewers, this will be their introduction to Battlefield. Not everybody hopped on with Bad Company. I did really like, you know what, you know what I really liked, which I never saw again? The humor... Oh, am I just spawn killing this guy? The humor in the Bad Company campaigns. Uh, after, after Bad Company, they went kind of serious. Battlefield 3 had a very serious campaign, I felt. Whereas Bad Company... My god, the characters in the Bad Company campaign were so funny. It's genuinely the best FPS campaign I've played just because of that. Holy shit. I mean, this is Operation Metro for you. <laughs> there could have perhaps been better maps for me to play to represent Battlefield 3 than this. But a lot of people dig this. I mean, this server is just 24-7 Operation Metro. People like this kind of mindless... mindless gameplay where you're just trying to push in. But holy shit, this scope, dude. Do I have a- I think I have an extra large scope on this, because it's covering the whole screen. This is the first game where I'll say, like, the gameplay feels good. This is obviously fucking chaos, as I said, but this feels modern, it feels good. I could- I could sit down and play for a few hours. Another controversial thing with Battlefield 3? You- you join servers through the web browser. Battle log. Do you guys remember that? That was very 50-50 for people. Honestly, to me, looking back at it, I was just using it now to connect. I honestly think it's quite smooth to have it in a browser. So the game launches when you join a server through the browser, through Battlelog. I kind of like it, to be honest. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, there's something about... You know, there's something about... Oh, what a shot! There's something about sniping at the back that's really cozy to me. I think it's why a lot of people like Battlefield 3. Sniping's quite satisfying. And, um, I don't know. To me, being at the back, seeing people fight and just taking a shot here and there, there's something quite cozy about it. Am I... Is that weird to say? <laughs> I get a really cozy feeling sniping like this and just spotting people here and there trying to get, get them killed. <laughs> it's, it's getting a little creepy, perhaps. I've kind of forgotten that I'm making a video playing all the Battlefields, so I'm just kind of playing now. Really enjoying Battlefield 3. Got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Nice shot. You know what I'm noticing? In all these years, I've never changed my controls. 
I still use the exact same controls. These seem to be saved to what I had back in the day. Many years ago now. And it's just the same as I still play with. Crouching. Whoa! God, they're really trying to get me here. You see, this is so satisfying. I don't feel three, man. It might be up there. It might be up there at the top. I gotta move on, though. More games to play. More battlefields. I could easily play this today, though. You might see me streaming this at some point. <laughs> Battlefield 4. All right. <laughs> okay. Battlefield 4. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, all right. Why not? Now, I... And people might... This is gonna be... Whoa. Whoa. I'm dead. Wow, these fucking tanks, dude. Unpopular opinion? I hate tanks in Battlefield. Certain maps, I think that it uh, adds to the feel of the game, for sure. Certain maps it works for. But certain maps, and this goes across all Battlefields, I feel they shouldn't be on the map. There are some maps where I feel the tanks, it's too much. It should be infantry, maybe some helicopters, and cars. I, I've never been huge about tanks. Um, that's my opinion. Anyway, this is Battlefield 4. I remember Battlefield 4 having quite a shaky start when it first released. Kinda like Battlefield 3, actually. Uh, this game looks gorgeous even today. I mean, this, the lighting, uh, the lighting on this map specifically is actually lovely. Uh, with this game they obviously introduced Levolution with the, uh, what was that, Siege of Shanghai, where the, the building falls. God, no one enjoys tanks except the people who use tanks. <laughs> As I said, some maps, I think it adds to the experience, but this doesn't feel like a map where it's needed to me. Oh. Ooh, nice shot. Um, Battlefield 4 now runs really smoothly. It's a beautiful game. When it first released, I had played so much Battlefield 3 that by the time this came out, I wasn't super into it. Don't get me wrong, it's a great game. But I think I just played so much, and personally, I wasn't huge on the Battlefield 4 maps. You see, Battlefield 3, one of my f and Bad Company. Oh, that's a miss. Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2, some of my favorite Battlefield games. And a big reason behind that are the maps. Whereas Battlefield 4, I wasn't a fan of the maps. Looking back at it now, the maps are good. I just don't think they stand out as much. What do you guys think about that? Personally, I think Battlefield 4 maps, they're not as memorable as the Battlefield 3 maps and as the, whoa, that was cool. It's a bad company maps. Let's try one more life here. Again, this is a game I could easily play today. This game is fantastic, it holds up. Bad Company 2, I can't say the same for. If I play, when I play Bad Company 2 today, and I have over the years, I hop on Bad Company 2 every now and then. I don't think the gameplay... There's something about the fact that you can't strafe while running. That is a huge um, negative point for me. Strafing while running is something the older games don't have. I think it was introduced in Battlefield 4, 3, maybe. Uh. Whoo! Through the bush! Ah! <laughs> I forget you can be up there. Jesus. Yeah, the scale on Battlefield 4, definitely very impressive. The scale, you know. That's one. Anyone else? No! That's one. Who the hell is sniping me? Oh! oh my god. I hit the no-scope. Is someone up here? Yeah, as I was saying, you can be up on such high buildings. I completely forget you can even be up there. Ah, oh, amazing game. Honestly, if you're not getting 2042, if you're not that interested, just download Battlefield 4 again. You can pick up pick it up cheap if you've never bought it. 
Uh, but if you have it, honestly, it's still such a great experience. I have 10 hours played in Battlefield Hardline. This was a complete... This was very controversial in the Battlefield community, because... Because this isn't Battlefield, this is... First of all, holy crap, did this really come out after Battlefield 4? Because it looks so much more arcadey. A lot of people didn't like this because... It's very different from Battlefield. This could have been called something else. This does not have to be a Battlefield game. Um... I mean, the difference in graphics between this and the movement. Why did I get kicked? You know what? I just got kicked. By Punk Bester, but it doesn't say why. You know what? I don't even care. Let's move on to the next game. I, I can forget about Battlefield Hardline, to be honest. Battlefield 1. This... This has a clear increase in quality, I find. This is... This is a step up in generation, I would say. Uh, in graphics... What the hell, man? I just spawned. What the fuck? This, to me, was such a huge upgrade in quality and graphics and the gameplay. Um, this is a new generation of, of gaming right here. I, I, I sound like a, like I'm advertising the game here, like it, like it hasn't come out yet, but this honestly, to me, is... Oh, that's a friend. Oh, it's a beautiful game. Beautiful game. And I suspect a lot of you guys will agree with me. Um, fun fact, I was actually in the trailer for this, for this game, when it was, um, one of the first trailers, one of those really awesome trailers that they came out with, which <coughs> our good friend Floppy worked on, among others. Um, yeah, I was, a uh, you know, you know, they always need, <laughs> you always need people in trailers, you know, running and stuff. So I got to be a part of that and got to be directed to do different movements. So, I... There's a certain characters you'll see running in the trailer. That's, uh... Oh, Nate. That's me, basically. <laughs> so that, that's always, that's my claim to fame with Battlefield, I guess. That's a very, that was a very cool experience to get to be a part of that. Now, Operations! This is as close to Rush as you're gonna get if you're a Rush fan. This game, this game mode, while fun, can be incredibly frustrating. Because it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful way of illustrating war. Um, with how you're just pushing infantry over and over into the same spot, trying to push through. I think it's a beautiful game mode. We just killed each other. But I will say, my god, the rage that I felt playing this game mode sometimes when you just can't get through. I remember that being very frustrating sometimes. Let's see if we can do one final push here on A. I mean, I'm not ready to get annoyed at at this game mode right now. Nade in. Got him. Someone on the left. No, I'm gonna get reloaded. Can get in here. Whoa! <laughs> ah, not much to say about this. Fantastic game. Lastly, we come to Battlefield 5. When Battlefield 5 came out, I know a lot of people said this is way too similar to Battlefield 1. This isn't needed. The gunplay in Battlefield 5 is a huge upgrade. Um, they completely redid the system as far as I'm aware. Uh, so it's got really impressive gunfire, gun mechanics. The combat feels pretty good, but I think a lot of people were kind of done with uh, the time period as well. Um, I think a lot of people at this point were ready for a modern game. And so to get another with older, another game with older guns, I think that's what put a lot of people off. This music, though! Oh! Can we turn off... Oh, that's fantastic! Turn off head bobbing. There we go. Okay, my FOV, my resolution was off. Everything did look a little weird. So, <clears throat> I, I now have the pleasure of having the perspective of someone who's played through pretty much all the Battlefield games that I could play through previous to Battlefield 5. And you know what I will say, just that one kill that I got there, holy crap, it feels so much better, so much more responsive. Um, I can't remember the exact details of what they did in the in the combat in this game. 
But I want to say that they work with the individual bullets. Then they then they make it all. God, I, I'm not gonna even gonna guess, but I'm sure someone in the comments will say exactly what they did to make this better. But you can really feel it. Uh, it feels so much more responsive when you're shooting at people. The problem when you let's say you play Battlefield One. Oh, I thought he died. Let's, let's say you played Battlefield 1, right? And then you haven't played it for a year, and Battlefield 5 comes out. out. When you play Battlefield 5, you're going to think, yeah, great game. You're not going to notice these things that they've improved as much. Whereas, considering I just hopped off Battlefield 1, I never noticed how responsive the gunplay is in this game, the combat. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, Battlefield 5. Fun fact, I played... I thought I played so much more Battlefield 1 than Battlefield 5. I have 69 hours played in Battlefield 1, I believe, and 74 hours in Battlefield 5, so I played this more. <clears throat> and there's one reason for that. Firestorm. Battlefield 5 came with a Battle Royale. I'm losing my voice, are you hearing this? Battlefield 5 came with a Battle Royale. It's called Firestorm. I actually love Battlefield Firestorm. I've tweeted about this a lot. I think that... It had so much potential. I played the crap out of it. The circle was this firestorm that engulfs the map, and it ran so smoothly. The only reason that a lot of people didn't like it was the looting system. They released it a little too early. They didn't fix the looting system. They never did. Um, but honestly, the balance between... Let's see if I can kill this guy. Oh! The balance between vehicles and infantry... What the fuck? In that battle royale in Battlefield Firestorm was some of the best balance, it, some of the most well incorporated vehicle system in a battle royale that I've seen. I genuinely enjoyed the shit out of it, but unfortunately they never truly gave it a chance. You know what, from the start they made one mistake. Firestorm released among Apex Legends and Warzone came like a year later, but Apex Legends for example, free to play, Fortnite, free to play, Battlefield Firestorm paid. Not only is it paid, but you have you have to buy Battlefield 5, which a lot of people were already against because they had played so much Battlefield 1. Um, they didn't want to spend 50, 60 bucks on a new Battlefield. And that was the only way to play Firestorm. So it was quite doomed from the start. I know that on console... Ooh! On... I know Battlefield 5, Firestorm did quite well on console. This is going great. Uh, and I think it even still has a player base today. That was... this isn't Call of Duty. They are mad at me. Uh, but on PC, unfortunately, the player base kind of dwindled quite quickly. In, uh, in Firestorm specifically. I forgot how fucking smooth it is. This is incredibly smooth. And it makes me curious how 2042 is gonna play. Because in the beta, I did not feel this receptive. Maybe they were having server issues? Because in the beta, I felt... I felt like I was constantly lagging almost with the gunfire. Did anyone else feel that way? It always felt like you were... The, your gunshots were constantly kind of delayed and stuff. It, it didn't feel great, the combat. It didn't feel this good, I will say that. But of course, that was just a beta, so hopefully when the game is fully released, and we're playing it this weekend, it'll be feeling much better. There's a guy there. Go left here. Oh! Nice shot! Woo! Okay! Well, that was, uh, that was Battlefield. I thought it would be fun to do this. There was a big Call of Duty that came out a couple years ago, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And so I played all of the Call of Duties leading up to it. And for this one, I know this Battlefield's quite hyped up. I thought it'd be fun to just revisit all the Battlefields. Um... Talk a little bit about my memories with them. See if they still hold up today. I hope you guys... I hope you guys enjoyed it, honestly. It was a lot of fun for me. More of a chill video. I know this guy's gonna peek in three, two, one. Now. Oh, dude, if I got the kill there. Oh.